What's going on everyone? Juicebags here and welcome back to some Dungeon Defenders 2 on the Xbox One. Now I'm starting to get some decent Chaos 7 gear and I'm actually to the point where I'm in the top bracket uh, as far as loot drops go. However, I haven't found anything just exceptionally good yet. So this is just kind of a step above those middle of the road builds uh, for Chaos 7 and it's more into kind of a grindy build as um, like I said I've got just enough power on a few different heroes to cause a little damage yet I really don't have the ideal set for anyone yet so I've got this 21,892 medallion I'm going to be using on my protons with uh, defense rate power transfer and frosty beams now I'm going to get rid of that defense rate and put something else in there as soon as I find a slightly better uh, medallion. However, for now, that's going to hold me out. Uh, then I'm going to be using some flame auras, and this is actually my best overall piece. Pretty darn decent, only, what, 400 and a little change away from being at the absolute top of Chaos 7. And not spectacular sub rolls, but not terrible either. So this uh, actually is my best piece. I'm going with power transfer, defense rate, and deadly strikes. Once again, same thing there. Once I get a piece with a little bit more defense speed on it, then I'm going to drop that defense rate and probably go with defense crit. And then I'm also going to be using the Sky Guards. I've got this mark on there just because it's what I have. You know, sometimes you just have to go with what you have. I do prefer a medallion on my Sky Guards. However, that mark's going to get me through for now. And same thing here. The Lightning Strikes are, as I'm going with a mark, 21855. Um, it's once again, it's just what I have so you know, of course you have to use what you got and this is what I got and then on the walls this is my I Think this is my second best overall piece. So I'm going with a totem sharpened spikes fortification shielding guard Shielding guard. I don't really need on these walls. I don't think however I don't have a better shard currently to pop in there. So that's what I'm gonna be going with so let's go ahead and get started here. We are on Crumbled Bulwark in the Chaos 7 Trials. And once again, this is on the Xbox One. So hopefully, I get some fat loot. That would be ideal. I do have the Mystic in the deck as well, but I don't think I'm going to end up using her. I think I'm just going to go with, uh, with some Aura Stacks and some Protons for slow. And just kind of call it good call it good at that let's see let's just put one big old proton in there and then go with kind of standard issue flame aura spam with some lightning strikes are a love in the mix as well let's see I don't want to spend too much but on the same note I kind of want to rec or, uh, ignore this lane and not have to deal with it much except for bosses now I am going to DPS on my EV as I'm looking for a better weapon for, for the girl. However, I'm probably going to have to switch to the monk on any uh, siege roller lanes as I just don't quite have the setup to burn anything down super quick on the EV quite yet. Still, uh, still a work in progress course and we'll get there. Just a matter of putting in the time to grind it out. Let's see, and then let's uh, let's R uh, R spam this side up just a little bit as well. Here, I think, I'm gonna go a little different. Gonna go two in the lanes like that, and then put one right there, and should be able to get another one there with some lightning strike R's as well, just to kind of close the deal. And then that's actually gonna leave me a nice bit. For the other lane and for the sky guards as we're going to need a sky guard here and then i think i'm going to put a sky guard right right here as well now it is uh some of the builds i do on the pc of course i can be a little riskier uh, i can use a lot of different defenses i don't have that luxury on xbox yet 
Uh, basically, these defenses that I'm using are the only defenses I currently have geared. So shy of just going on some heavy-duty shard swapping and uh, relic swapping, I'm pretty much set using the exact same thing every time. Let's see, we've got 120 left, so let's go a couple of flamers, and then that's going to leave us enough for three lightning strikes, and that should really get the job done here for this map. Yeah, looking good. Uh, throw just like I would on the PC, I'm going to go ahead and throw my my ups into the sky guards, and then I'm going to hope and pray that I can get a decent weapon canister, as this one is just definitely not doing the trick. I got, uh, I got Autumn Yow up now, which is nice. Actually, did it not roll? Did Autumn Yow not roll with Cyclone? Hmm. May not have. I'm gonna have to check that. This is a, uh, Autumn Yow that was created with gems, so it should not have an issue rolling cyclone and they used to roll it used to roll cyclone by default I thought but I definitely do not have cyclone there yeah I'm not even sure what ability that is I just uh I just finally broke down and I bought some pet boosters and I got autumn yell uh, partially leveled up however I didn't even look at the ability to be honest I was really uh counting on having a little cyclone in action is that's what would kind of close the deal for me. Now I'm going to be pretty happy if I can find a McManus, a McDougars, or any of the specialty, the name shot types that were recently changed in the update. If I can find any of those, I will be very, very happy. And it actually went pretty darn smooth. Uh, like I said, I'm over the hump now, so it's no longer a struggle to do C7. Uh, however, I'm still not super stout quite yet. I'm getting there, though. Definitely, definitely making some nice progress. Let's see. Get a little more juice. Left some juice behind. That's no good. Let's go one more up on these sky guards. I don't like not only using a lower quality mark, I just don't like using a mark on the sky guards. I know they're going to get the job done. I know that a mark is going to be almost as good as what you can get with a medallion. However, I just love having medallions on there. It's, it gives me a little, uh, a little sense of security, so to speak, as I just know that there's going to be consistent enough damage coming out to take care of all those flyers. Let's see, oops, I accidentally upgraded a wall. Still have to get used to the new controls on the old Xbox, no doubt about that. And looks like I'm out, so away we go. How is that bottom lane holding up the Proton? makes a big, big, big difference. Um, the second you get frosty sh uh, frosty protons, uh, the shard in your proton beams, it is a complete game changer for you as far as crowd control. Now, of course, as I say that, that Lady Orc just runs right through and never gets, never gets frozen. But if you look at the pack of mobs, they are just really coming to a roadblock right there. And that's just awesome. I'm excited to get back in and get some runs in on the Xbox. I actually had uh, some trouble uh, streaming tonight. I streamed a little Orcs Must Die Unchained, and I uh, had a little little trouble streaming tonight with my connection, so decided to record a little local content. But on that same note, I know I just have to get I have to get this Xbox account squared away, and I'm just so far away from making that happen. I need about, uh, I want to say about 20 decent medallions, probably 5 or 6 decent marks, and about 5 or 6 decent totems as well, and I'd be pretty content then. 
maybe they'll all drop this run. <laughs> uh, I doubt it, but you know, never hurts to be optimistic. Let's see. It definitely went smooth. I think uh, I'm probably really getting close to being ready to to build uh, with other Chaos 7 players. Um, of course, assuming they're bringing Chaos 7 quality DPS into the mix, I think my builds would probably probably start to hold up now. Uh, I see my Ascension's up to 213 now, so I made a little progress on that. Still not super high, but I have been... That's another one of the benefits of following progression and not worrying about your ascension level. If you just just progress up and make that your number one concern, the ascension's going to end up coming much, much easier to you. Because, like, right now I'm getting so much XP per map that I'm getting, you know, well over a level every single Chaos 7 map I run. We'll have to look and see. I'm not even sure what the... I'm used to the 8.5 million um, that I do on PC. Of course, it's 8.5 million to to level up now on my PC account. But I'm still a long way from hitting that on the Xbox. So I'm getting lots and lots of levels out. Uh, I've been in Chaos 7 since about Ascension 128-ish now. So I haven't done, uh, I've done a bunch of Chaos 7 runs, but I haven't done a bunch of Chaos 7 runs. <laughs> I've done enough to start getting some decent gear, but I'm definitely not where I need to be for the long haul. Ooh, there's medallion number one for me. Not a very good roll on it, but it's still a medallion that's over 20,000 defense power on the primary once I upgrade it, so... You never know. I might end up throwing it on something. I could find a use for it somewhere, I'm sure. Old Grib's gonna finally die there for me. There we go. Wave 4 incoming now. I'm gonna try to get uh, all of the Chaos 7 maps built on the Xbox um, here over this weekend. I'd like to get that done. Uh, for a couple of reasons, really. You know, I want to show off some Chaos 7 runs that are in a little lower quality gear than what I'm used to playing with. Uh, plus, at a, a lower ascension level. And then on the same note, I just have got to get to grind in here. On the Xbox and Chaos 7. And I've just had the toughest time getting motivated to do it. It's, um, you know, I'm not to that 2000 mark yet on the PC. And that gets the top... Ascension related achievement for now so I'm really wanting to get to 2000 Ascension on the PC and you know to be honest with you if I wouldn't have spread myself so thin over multiple consoles I would probably be over that mark already now the just with the amount of time I put into the you know getting the Xbox uh, account leveled up through the campaign all that stuff I probably would have picked up you know 100 150, maybe even 200 Ascension levels on the PC. But it's all good. I mean, I want the opportunity to play with, you know, everybody in the DD2 community. Uh, I know that currently there's just a ton of uh, Xbox fans of the game. And, of course, a lot of that comes from uh, DD1, where Dungeon Defenders 1 was on Xbox. And in the PlayStation as well. I just haven't put in any time, hardly, into the PlayStation account. And I'm anxious to get get that account up to Chaos 7 and get moving too. I mentioned it before, but my long-term goal is to do a PC day, a Xbox day, and a PS4 day for Dungeon Defenders 2 every week. And I really can't wait, to be honest with you, to get to that point. I'm hoping to, you know, of course I'd, I want to see the new updates with the, the new content and the new game modes that'll be coming. I, I really almost want to get all three platforms up to uh, Chaos 7 gear before that gets here, but on the same note, I do hope the update comes sooner than I'm able to get that done. <laughs> Let's see what we got here. Eh, another kind of a low roll on that mark, but that's alright. 
I've got better marks than that just sitting in my inventory right now, I believe. There we go, and that should get us through here. A little slick Kelly on action. I gotta get this pet rerolled to uh, Cyclone. No point in me using it if I'm not gonna use the Cyclone, because that's really the main reason to get Autumn Meow. That and I just, I, I like Autumn Meow. Dragalich all around is probably a better pet for anyone newer to the game right now that doesn't, uh, you know, that's either just learning it or someone that likes to play around with multiple, multiple play styles. I'm pretty set in my ways as far as uh, how I like to play different characters. So I really know exactly which what pet I want for every hero. And although Dragalich would fit the mold for most of those, Autumn Meow is definitely who I like to use on my hero damage EV2. No doubt about it. We get some charged shots proc in here, that'd be nice. There we go. Ogre down. And that's the other utility that those protons bring. Now, of course, my health is so low, I'm still just dying constantly. However, protons definitely make getting assassins off of you worlds, worlds easier as soon as you get that frozen proton shard. A little Malthus action here. I wish I knew what that pet ability was doing. I keep forgetting to look. <laughs> and there we go. So that was Crumble Bulwark on Chaos 7 on the Xbox One. With, you know, I'm still going to title this one a middle of the road build. Because I'm definitely not to the end of the road of where I want to be. However, I'm definitely making some progress and getting myself moved along at a pretty decent clip. So thank you for watching. Uh, click that like button and please subscribe. And I will, without a doubt, be back with more Dungeon Defenders 2 real soon. We'll see ya.